Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers with Quality Crafts. Let's do something fun today, a fun technique. I know I've done this before. It's a really old video. If you want to go back and look at that one, I'll link it below. But um, I'm going to do it this time with some different sprays that I have. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of water. And let's see what we get with that. So I'm going to pull out the supplies and we're going to go down to the table. What I have here is something to catch the sprays. I've got some regular photo paper, which is what we're going to spray onto. I've got several different kinds of sprays. These are a bunch of dilutions. One is melted chocolate, one is white linen, and one is squeezed orange. So that's going to be one pattern that we do. And then the other pattern that we're going to do are dilutions and then a shiny one come from Heidi Swap called Color Shine in Teal Blue. Uh, the dilutions is Funky Fuchsia and After Midnight. So that'll be the second one we do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do this time, and I'm going to show you how they turn out. I do have a couple that I did last night, but I'm going to add some water to mine, which I did not do before, and I wish I would have, because the more water you have, the more it will move around. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mist this with water before I start, and we're going to start with the, um, the first one I said. So melted chocolate. What is this one? Squeezed orange. And I'm trying to make sure that it stays wet because you'll see why in a second. And then a little bit of the white linen on top. That'll kind of move it around a little bit. And then we're going to smash our saran wrap right over the top. Okay. You can already see, I'm going to lift it up, all the funny, really cool little wrinkly lines that went in there. And the other ones that I'm going to show you that are dry today aren't going to have as much of that because I didn't wet it as much. So that's, that's my whole point. Wet it a lot if you want them to really mash together. So doesn't that look cool? And that will turn out really neat when it's dry. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this off of here, which is why I do it on the paper so that I can move this to another spot to let it dry. All right, I got a couple of baby wipes on the side because once in a while it gets messy and I try not to spray all over my keyboard and stuff. So let's do one more of those. I'm going to pull out another piece of copy paper, which is that's all I'm using is just copy paper. A couple pieces of our, what kind is this? This is Epson, but you can use any kind you have. You could probably just use the glossy cardstock too, but I've never actually bought glossy cardstock. This stuff is so cheap and you can get it everywhere that I just use that. So here's the next one that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this with water as well, just like the first time. And I'm going to add some fuchsia. And some of this midnight after midnight a little bit less than that than I did the last time I tried this because I want a little bit more of this teal to show up it didn't show up very much the last time I did it and that looks pretty wet so let's grab some of our plastic wrap make sure that we've got enough to go over the whole thing And then I'm going to smoosh that together. Yeah, this is this is going to give me a way different look than the one that I'm going to show you that's dry. But if you're truly interested in seeing the end result of this, I can always do that in a different video. So I'm going to tuck that underneath there so it doesn't ooze all over my other desk. Give you a better view of that. Really cool. I'm going to set it aside to dry. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And the best part about it is at the end when you get to peel it off. So here is one of the original ones I did last night. As you can see, it looks almost all dark. This is the one that I did with these three colors. Okay, I did not add the extra water. So these dry pretty fast. And this is what we got. I'm gonna peel this off of here. You can see 
that the shininess, the real ultra glimmer that comes from this glimmer mist, this one, the color shine from Heidi Swap, whoops, really sticks out on top of that. It gives it an awesome effect. Okay, let's peel this one off as well. Same idea, slightly different color. You can see a little bit of the fuchsia in the corner. That is really neat. Okay, and then let's go and see what we got from the other set. That was the three colors here. Melted chocolate, squeezed orange, and white linen. And I didn't add any water to this one either. So I got bigger, bigger pieces. Bigger, like, shapes. Because I didn't smoosh these together as much as I did the other one. But how cool is that? That is a really awesome texture. Let's just peel off this last one. I really like the way these turned out. In my other video that I'll link below, the original video that I did, you'll notice that I didn't use any of the fancy name brand sprays. I used my own sprays. You can totally do that. But look at the difference. If you watch that video and you look at these, the difference in the brilliance and the colors, it's just amazing. So I would highly recommend using some of these dilution sprays. Whatever you have, just try it out. It's a lot of fun, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. I think it's fantastic. And I'll see you guys next video.